Hey everybody, welcome to my walkthrough slash let's play of the Nintendo DS game Ghost Trick. Now you may have heard of this game before, you may have even played it before, and I bet if you have played it before you do know what a treat this game really is. Now for those that don't know about this game, for those that haven't played it, um, I guess I would describe it as a colourful mystery adventure game. Well, I guess you'll see in a moment. Right then, we need to get rid of this black screen. Okay, as you know, the Nintendo DS has two screens, so here's the bottom screen. Here's the top screen. And here's some bits and bobs to fill in the gaps. Ah, uh, good old editing. Anyway, let's go. Okay then, this game has a heavy emphasis on the story, so if you really want to get into it, you're going to have to do a little bit of reading. But I'm not talking about Hotel Dusk Last Window levels. It's quite mild and enjoyable. Trust me. You'll get into it before you know it. Oh, and please, no spoilers. Looks like we're about to be introduced to the main character though, so I'm going to shut up for a bit. Yeah, I suppose that might be a little problem. Okay, so this guy right here is our main character. We'll learn about him as the story progresses. So I'm playing this on an emulator at about half speed to record it, so I can't really gauge the time it would take to read it right now until editing, so I have to apologise if the text boxes are going a bit too fast or even a bit too slow. You'll have to bear with me on that one. Okay, let's see if I can get over to the railway crossing. There we go. You might be wondering why the bottom screen is so big and yet the top screen is so small in comparison. And that's really just because the top screen isn't used as much. The bottom screen is the main screen of this game. Check this out. Well, the name of the game sort of gives it away. Well, not that much. She still held up at gunpoint. Yeah, exactly. It's like I've played this game before. This one seems a little bit out of reach, so I'm going to have to go with the guitar. And the purpose of the top screen really is just to find out what the objects can do. So let's give this a try. This guy just likes to shoot everything that moves. 
I keep trying, but it's not going to work. Yeah, let's have a look. I've got the hang of that. There she is. <laughs> and she is dead. So we didn't really save her. I just say there is another thing I really like about this game, and it's it's the silky smooth animation. For for the DS, it looks fantastic. I honestly don't know how they did it, but it works. That's who we've been speaking to. That is true, as he says for now. not just simply manipulating objects. Very true. Let's do it. Okay. Now I'm going to touch this thing at the top here. I might not press all of those thought bubbles because I have played this game before and um, 
often they're just to provide clues to the player. Very simple mechanic, really, it's just ghost and trick. All right, he's a little bit too far away right now, but I can get over to this uh, door and this traffic sign, and finally to this. Yes, we look to the top screen. Yes, so you can see, hopefully, if the resolution is good enough, that you can see that it can unfold. Really quite simple. Okay, so hit back, and then trick. And it's unfolding. And um, he's having a little bit of a dance over there. Now I can reach him. Uh -huh. Something's looking a bit different here. Okay, that's pretty much the tutorial over with. That's all we really need to know. Apart from this one thing he's going to tell us right now. Let's give it a go. Let's go into Ghost and move over. I've made a link. She's unconscious when she's dead. Yeah. That's just one of these things you're going to have to sort of accept. What a position to die in, really. Yes, we can.
So now what we'll see is the four minutes before she dies. Wow, that's a clue. Wait for it. And there's me. But wait, there's more. Those were her final words. And that's that. But of course, we knew about that part. Now we need to go and change it. So I'm going to use all the skills I've just learnt to save her life. Successfully this time. Yes, every time I go four minutes back into the past, I have to start where the corpse was. That does, of course, mean I'm going to have to get up there. Okay, this one's quite simple. He should give me a bit of a head start. Not long to go, I've got to be as quick as I can. Okay, it looks like I can go straight up now, so I'm going to go into that mannequin over there. Now I can roll with this tyre, so that's what I'm going to do. What a convenience. Now I'll go back to the mannequin head, see where I can go. It looks like the refrigerator is the way to go. I can open that, let's see what happens. Okay, something fell out. It looks to be a blender. Time is running out. I really need to hurry this up. If you don't understand what this guy is talking about, don't worry. All will become clear. Uh, 
Okay, I won't be able to reach the mannequin again, so I have to close it. Go back into ghost mode. Go over there. Hit the blender. Now, this bit is the first time it really gets complex. What I need to do is I need to turn on the fan and the blender at the same time. So, there you go. Move over to the flag, then to the fan. Do the same thing. Then hop back into the flag again and just wait. And the flag goes up and I'm back on their level. Just in the nick of time as well. Alright, back into ghost mode. Uh, there's only one place to go, and that's a bike. Okay, so I've got three seconds, so I've got to make this quick. I can ring this. Let's try this. So there you go, you get a little bit of a fate change, as it's called, and that's basically a checkpoint system. It becomes quite useful in the later levels. Okay, he's going to get to her eventually, so let's see what I can do. But first, let's press this. Hopefully, I'll never have to press that, because I should know what I'm doing. Yeah. Now, I'm still on the bike. Let's go back into Ghost. Uh, I can't do anything with this anymore, so I'm going to go over to the pedal. Go a little bit closer. Now, I can go to two things now. I can go to this lever. And I can also go to the ladder. Let's see what the ladder does. It extends by the looks of it. So let's give that a go and see if it helps. Not a great deal, although I can now get to the street light. Let's go back. Let's try the lever. Yeah, that's probably done the trick. <laughs> he is near sighted, I guess. There is an excuse for that. Anyway, now I need to use the ladder. So if I just extend this once more. I'm now up the other end. I can go into the street light and I can now go into the wrecking ball and the claw. And open. Okay, so fate averted. That means mission complete. Basically, I've done it. Now we're going back to the present.
Not a goddamn thing. And those are all questions that we are going to get answered. He has a point. So that's just something else to worry about. Makes sense. Yes, that's quite a time limit, really. Bit of a cliche, but yeah. Let's hope so. Quite a lot of questions that need answers. She really is. about that. That's just for looking at character profiles and saving the game. Alright, so I'm still stuck in this claw, so I need a way down. So... Get over back to the bike, and I can shimmy if I just move the handlebars. And that gets me a little bit of the way down. Get to that umbrella and open it up. I'm just what she needs. <laughs> Everything happened all by itself. Yep. Yeah, that's the first thing I'd think of, too. She's very conveniently just moving me along now.
cute. Let's hear what she's saying. found something, let's see what I can do with it. It's a note. Let's examine it. Oh, hold on a moment. There was one thing we were forgetting. Hitman seemed to know who it was. Ah, yes, one more little power that I forgot to mention. Let's do it. <laughs> now, doesn't that just look like a stereotypical villain to you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've just realised this. Are they his eyebrows? I thought that was hair. Very convenient. The most knowledgeable lamp I ever did know. It really is. We're on our own from here on in. Okay, so I can cycle through the phone lines here. There's one to the junkyard, and there's this new one. I don't know where this goes, but let's give it a go.
Alright everyone, that is the end of chapter 1. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you back in chapter 2.